Hello friends, welcome to Octocoder. Today we are going to learn how to create this text blinking effect in HTML and CSS. We have only used here HTML and CSS code. So you are going to learn in this video how to create this text blinking effect. So let's start. <laughs> So this is our Visual Studio code. I created the text blinking effect.html file. So let's give the title text blinking effect. And now we just need here only one h1 tag, nothing else. And inside we're going to write octa coder. So save this file, open in the browser. Here I'm going to open with the live server. So this is the HTML file code. We've done everything. So let's make the side by side now. So here I'm going to use internal style CSS because there is not much style CSS code. This is just text blinking effect. So I'm going to use here internal style CSS inside the style tag and I'm going to write all CSS code inside this style tag. So there is nothing only the CSS part for this text blinking effect. So I'm gonna give the first uh, body color, body tag background color. I have the hash code. You can just look at and copy and paste the hash code. So I'm gonna save this file. When I'm gonna save this file, this will auto reload here. Let's see and see you got it. This is not blackish color, but uh, kind of, you can see the greenish sky blue or something else. <laughs> so I like this color, so I'm going to keep it. And then this is our text lol. So let's make that text into the center. Let's give the text align center, seal this file. It will go here. So we need, I'm gonna give, make it to the document center. You can use display flex box for properties or any other properties to make it the center, but I'm gonna use it to margin. So here, this is the heading one tag. So let's take the heading tag. This is just a tag. There is no class. So that's why I'm going to use the tag based internal style CSS. So we are going to write everything, all the CSS inside this heading tag, h1 tag. So first I'm going to make this octocoder to the center. So I'm going to use it margin top. You can use a position also. You can use whatever you want, but I like to use the margin margin top so i'm gonna use this margin uh, so let's say 200 pixel let's see oh it's still not let's make it to 50 yeah now this looks cool so let's give the font size you can give it in the pixel or you can give it in the em also so i'm gonna give it 5 em so the octocoder name is become bigger that's great it's like a 24 pixel i think so maybe let's not go with the pixel so just give the 5 em and then let's give the font family let's make it the uh, sans serif let's give the helvetica neon not a real i helvetica neon and then give the sans serif the font little bit changes so this octocoder is in the lower case so let's make that into the upper case so for that we have text transform properties just give the upper case and refresh save and reload it will be in the upper case now i'm gonna give little font size 4 am so this is uh, good now I'm gonna give a little spacing here in the text. So for that we have the letter spacing just a 10 pixel. Yeah, the space is become now great. That's great now. So we can't delete this part and we can't write anything. So for that here we need to give inside the h1 tag content edit 
table is equal to true save this file and now you can see we can write it here anything you probably not seeing if you want to see we can write here and see we can write it but there is a problem we got this outline we don't need that this white h1 tag outline so how to remove that outline so for that we have outline css properties and just give the none so save this file and now see the outline is gone looking good and now for the blinking here we need the web kit box reflect properties see this is the striking now this property is i think outdated <laughs> but uh, still it uses for this kind of test blinking so we want the blink the reflection here we just want the octacode reflection below save this file you'll get the reflection below if you write it here above save this file you will get the above so we don't want that above we just want below save this so it's too much below we i don't want that much below we just need to manage that how much below you want that reflection so minus minus means it is going to top so i'm going to give 30 pixel save this file yeah it is attached now that's looking great and then let's give linear color is gradient so we don't need this color i'm just gonna comment it here for now as you can see i'm gonna give the here linear gradient color so to bottom i want to bottom you can give top bottom left right as, as per your requirement but i want this uh, bottom so the first color is i want black so this is just a four and then second color i want little blur you just i have the hash code so you just copy that hash code 6c you still can't understand i'm gonna remove the comment so you will understand what happened so when i give this color okay i'll show you just give the first color here Control z save it see so i'm gonna give the second color second color hash code i have it so you just copy this hash code and paste it in your if you are creating this text blinking six this is the hash code of the second blur uh, reflection blur color the you just watch and when i re save this file you will get the reflection here so see this is great yeah this is looking good now so these are the heading one properties now we just need the animation to blink this octacoder name we just need the animation to blink this octacoder name so for that we have to give the keyframes and just give any name for this effect so i'm gonna give the text blink this is the animation name and then we have to give the animation properties here how much you want the blinking so understand carefully when it start i want from zero percent then i want ten percent when it go on the ten percent complete blinking effects it will reflect the all colors then i also want every 10 percent i'm gonna give the blink effect 30 percent then 88 percent then 100 percent and then we're going to give the css properties here so color we want color so the color is a white i'm gonna give the hash code and now we just want the shadows the text shadows how much it will blur it will blink so for that we have the css property text shadows so watch carefully how i am going to give the properties here so first of left zero 
and here I'm going to give the 10 pixel for the blur first blur is the 10 pixel and then I'm gonna give the color I have the hash code so you just copy it this is little bluish color so I'm going to give every 10 pixel the CSS properties then here 20 pixel color is the same you just need to understand that the blur effect it will glow how much percent it will grow the, that's why the color is need to be same i'm gonna do it fast now and then i'm just gonna give a little more effective blur so 120 pixel and color is same and just done this thing is done so i'm gonna give here the animation reference we just tried the animation keyframes but it is not reflecting so for that we have here inside the h1 tag i'm going to give the css properties animation the the name the this name just copy this name and paste it here and give the time uh, so i'm going to give the time as a uh, five second five five second is longer just give it uh, three second and it will be infinite alternate so here we don't need this color so i'm going to comment this color that was a temporary so now i'm going to save this file so it will let's see what will happen so see we we got the it's not blinking because we just gave the we just gave these css keyframe properties but it is not blinking because the all color are same so this this is still look good this is really cool it's, it's looking really great now so here we only need the blinking effect for that we just need to write inside the keyframes we have to manage that so i'm gonna give 10.1 percent and then every every 20 percent let's give it 20.2 percent let's give every same similar thing because this this will be is just for the color changes so that's why we need the bling it will bling if you don't give this kind of properties it will not bling you, you can give it here also this will not that much effective so i'm gonna give the separately i'm gonna do the little faster and last one is the 89 percent i'm gonna give it and then we just need to this color are the same that's why it was not blinking so here we are going to change the color so i have the hash code of the color you just copy it and take shadow take shadows we don't want it inside this so save this file and see we got cool it's looking really cool if you want let's make it 20 oh that's that's really cool great so we done the css and html code let's make let's see how it is looking now oh, that's great guys so that's how to create this blinking text effect so that's it guys we have done all code this is really simple and it really looks great coding is fun we can write anything this html effect is really cool we created using html and css nothing much not that much we just gave inside the h1 tag this is html h1 tag code we just write the h1 tag and nothing else and we uh, we write the h1 tag all css properties these are the css properties we just need the keyframes and animation and then we just need to manage the text shadows of the color so that's it guys nothing else and you'll get this kind of output and don't worry about the code i'm going to push this all code on my github octacoder github you can find the link in the description so you can get the all code freely on octacoder github so that's it guys if you like it please subscribe octacoder
थैंक यू गाइस